<laughs> good morning, everyone. This now it's good evening in Pakistan and good afternoon wherever you may be. But this is Carla from the from the Learn English by Speaking English show. And I am here to speak to those people under 20 years old in English right now. And I'm still waiting for Raheem. Did Raheem say she's coming? Yeah, yeah. I, I told her that you were here right now, so she should be here. Okay. Have you heard from her at all? Did she respond? Yeah, she said, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That's all I needed to know. Um, Raheem will be here soon, uh, but for now, you got only me and Pamela because I'm a little late and that's what it is right now. In any case, um, we are supported by the Institute of Peace, which is an online organization promoting peace one conversation at a time. And as you know, on this show, I usually have more than one conversation, but you never know what's going to happen or who's going to come or who isn't going to come or as today, am I going to be on time or am I going to be late? Something delayed me today that was very important. In any case, I am going to let Pamela speak for a little bit while I work on getting this shared out and we'll take it one step at a time. Okay. Well, hi everyone. I'm Pamela Hills from Newark, Ohio, here, right here in America. And I've missed you. I, um, I wasn't able to be here for a couple of days. I can only make it like on Wednesdays and Sundays right now. So um, I love coming here. I know many of you do. I know many of you are in the watch party. Now, the one thing, today's There's Sunday. No watch party yet, and I cannot put watch parties in. Yeah, in, I, in I know. At all. Yeah, um, of course, we forgot one thing. Today is a special show that is set aside for those that are 20 and under. The reason for this, and I've been here when they've said it, when we have a big audience, depending on what we're talking on, if you have those that are 20, especially children, we love when the children come and this is their day, uh, or youth, youth and under, 20 and under, they get bored. They sit there and, ah, you know. So Carla set aside a very special day for them to come and talk, to tell us what they've been doing, to make us laugh, to make us smile, and to meet new friends. Um, it's, it's their day. So if you are 20 and under, or if you are a, you know, someone with a child, you may come, but only the child can talk. You can't, okay? I have, have been doing what Carl is doing now, not like this, but uh, speaking to, to children all over the world, and especially in Pakistan, even adults. It is the first time that they have heard us speak. It is the first time that many have seen an American, especially in your poor villages. Um, I've talked to uh, those of all ages in the rural villages in Pakistan. And when they hear an American talk, they just kind of look at you like, I don't understand a word you're saying. And yet many of these children are learning English in school but have no contact with an American. Um, I don't want to be rude, but I need to um, 
stop you for a moment. There are people who are saying, I am 22, I am oh. over 20. Please don't even ask that question. Um, I find it very rude that when I have already made it clear, it's for people under 20 that you ask that question. And how long? Ellie, have... Excuse me, oh. Ellie Daniel, I need to know you. Thank you. Okay. Um, Carla, how long have you been doing this show on Sunday? Okay, this isn't new. No, actually, no, it isn't new. This has been going on since July. It was started because of Mariam Awawa. Right. Um, it was supposed to be only five days a week, and I added an extra day because of Mariam. Right. To be honest. Right. So I have a real problem when people do this, and I have a real problem that I need to remind people on a right. regular basis. Right. About this. So I shouldn't have to. Yeah. Anymore. But okay. But I know. I know. Also, there are people who may be coming for the first time and not know know this. Right. Right. So, yeah. So um, if you were listening, and I do realize uh, that some of you are just joining, some of you are, you know, are new to this. So, you know, we give you this, but today truly is, is set aside a special day for those who are 20 and under. Uh, and so unless you have a child, but only that child can talk, not you, okay? It's not your day. If you're 21, come tomorrow through Thursday. 22, come tomorrow through Thursday. If you're 20, come today, okay? Um, but um, anyway, um, we're asked over and over again, how can I improve my English? You learn it there, as I said, I, I have talked to young children who can speak oh, English. Okay. You were yeah. frozen for a few moments. Oh, oh, okay. Um, who learn to speak English, but never speak to an American, uh, have never heard an American speak. Uh, I've talked to college students who learn English. Uh, I'll never forget the first ones I talked to. They, they go to an institute, they learn English and then they are sent into a room and they're supposed to talk to one another. And he said to me, he said, it sounded like a room full of bees. We had no idea if we were speaking English or just going blah, 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 blah to, to each other. Ahmad, excuse me, you are oh. too old. You may not come today. You need to wait until tomorrow. I am sorry. You are not under 20, goodbye. Okay. Okay. Um, but anyway, the only way to improve any language, truly, is you learn it, but then you need to talk to the people uh, in order to improve it. You need to hear how they speak. You need to listen. Listen to Carla and I. Today's show is for 20 years of age and younger. Okay, if you are older than that, know that you have four days. Uh, of course, I think it... that's enough on that okay. topic. Okay. You are... Oh, she may have her children. I told oh. her. To go. Okay. So we will find out if she doesn't have children, she will be thrown out. But I don't think that'll be the issue right now. Oh, okay. Cullen. No, Zainab. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, again, Zainab, it's confusing. I you have your children. <coughs> Otherwise, I will need to remove you. And you need to start your camera, please. We'll start the video later, then I will bring you in when write to me when you're ready to come to do that and I will put you in the white room. Okay. Okay, I'm hoping, I, I thought uh, Rahim would be here by now. 
um, she just told me she's coming. I'll just ask, where are you? Okay. Okay. But um, to make a long story short, you know, that question is asked all the time. How can I improve my English? This is the place to come and do that. Uh, speak to someone that speaks the language. Um, do not, whatever you do, get hung up on accents. Um, you know, there's certain things you have to go over again. That's why we have, well, at least here in America, we have pre-kinder and uh, kindergarten through 12. Basically, when you start school, you, you start the same stuff over again uh, until you graduate. Well, it, it's, it's the same, same thing here. Um, you know, we're constantly repeating ourselves and um, it does get old. But then, like Carla says, and it's so true, because this reaches out to the world, okay, you have a different audience, you have different people uh, hearing you for the first time. And so you have to, you have to repeat often, um, repeat after me the ABCs, <laughs> okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, it's, it's just something that you have to do. But uh, out there, and Carla hears this as well. How can I join the show? She's told you this over and over again. And again, we have to realize. To understand. And yeah. even with you, you need to realize that many people are coming for the first time. And it needs to be repeated. Mm -hmm. um, I just said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am really trying working very hard on getting this together right now. Okay. But we look forward to talking to you today and uh, welcome you here. And um, we feel honored. I have asked this, this question so many times. Am I the first American you talk to? And to hear somebody or see somebody look back at you and say, yes, you are. It is a tremendous Excuse honor. Me, you can only be here if your kids are here. You may not be here alone. I told you this is just for children. Are your kids coming? Where are your kids? Um, you're muted. Where are your children or I need to remove you? And they are sleeping. Then I'm sorry, I need to put you in the white room. Okay, you okay. You cannot be here if you're older than 20. Okay, okay. Um, oh boy. Um, okay, um, we've learned different things here. Um, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to find conversation to fill up till we can get this started. Um, a lot of them that come here, and this is another reason for having this special day, uh, say they're 20 and under, you know, especially with the 20 year olds, they may be getting ready to take what's called an eyelids test. And the one proper thing, I mean, you do this throughout your life, you introduce yourselves, okay? This is a very important step for the eyelids test uh, is being confident and introducing yourself. Um, this is something you learn here in this room, um, how to introduce yourself, how to listen. You may pick up on a new word, like Raheem said the word deja vu one day, you may hear different words because the second part is they can give you a word to see if you understand, you know, to write it out. So this is a good place to come, especially uh, there's, the, the British eyelets and there's the American English eyelets, okay? I will tell you, <laughs> uh, there are things uh, that you say in Britain and the UK, I don't even understand, okay? So the two languages are almost, they're, they're so different. So it, it really doesn't matter to me if you go before a British board or an American English board, because you've got to do the same thing. You've got to be able to speak. You've got to be able to listen. 
and so on and so forth. Rabia is joining you. You can speak with Rabia. Right. I'm going to see if I can find um, Rahim. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but I told Rabia that she could always come on Sunday. So. Oh, hi, Rabia. Hi, hello. Hi, it's so I good am to actually see you. going to mute myself for a moment so I can see what's happening with just okay. Hello, Pamela. How are you? I'm fine. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Rabin Asim Hamoud, and the, my friends call me Rabel. You can say that my nickname is Rabel. Rabi. I ask Carla, please, Carla, and uh, you should, uh, you should, <laughs> you should uh, <laughs> enroll, uh, join me in the mind floor group. And he, he, she said that, Rabbi, your English board, you should join my English classes, improve your English, and then in the mind floor group. So that's why today I came. Okay. Okay. Well, happy to have you here and it's good to see you. Um, okay. Now the one thing, okay, that, that you have to do uh, is, is slow your, <laughs> slow your language down. Okay. I, I could understand cause I'm, I'm, in, you know, kind of used to it, but there are those out there that it just, blah, 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 you know, ran fast. So remember to slow it down. <laughs> Okay, sure. You're you're muted. <laughs> Carla is muted. <laughs> um, it's very important for you to learn to speak slower when you're speaking English. You cannot speak at the same rate that you speak Urdu or your other languages, because it's hard. There's a difference between the sound and the symbols and it actually accent is not a problem if you speak slowly because our sounds are a little different and that's what causes the problems. Okay, please, I... Okay. Oh no, that was, that was, uh, that was needed because that's, that's one of the things that, that is hard. When and it, also for you, Pamela, you need to be speaking a little slower. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, Rabia, please uh, tell us what you do about yourself. Uh, you introduce yourself, but tell people what you do. Oh. Okay. Nowadays, I am doing a job. And... Uh, working on my own company's project and a part of that uh, just started to paint a painting oh. <laughs> and what I do next and today I just joined this class okay okay um, okay we have Rahim here and I want her to introduce yourself herself and you two talk to each other I don't know if you know each other or not. So this is your chance. Rahim, it's so good to see you. <laughs> I've missed you. <laughs> Me too. You weren't here for like forever. <laughs> it, it seemed like it. But okay, you go ahead because I want the two of you to talk. Yeah, so hello, everybody. I'm really sorry I'm late again, but happened. So I am Rahim Fatma. And I am 12 years old. I am a stand-up comedian, a writer, an entrepreneur, a teacher, and a theater actress. And I'll be joining and I'll be joining Carla and Pamela with the show today. So please feel free to come if you're under 20. So hi Rabia. Yeah, hi, Rabia. Can I um just for a moment because I'm really having some problems staring out to the group. Could you guys please, please just share the show out so people know we're here? Because I don't know what's going on with Facebook, but I cannot share out the groups. I can't find the groups. Wow. 
Oh, what's happening? I d we're not talking about that. It doesn't matter what happened. It's just not working right now. So if you would share it out, the more people who share the show out, the more people can join. So we need, I need you to do that. So where have you been today, Raheen? A lot, actually. Over the weekend, there's been a lot happening. So today, um, I was studying for a test and enjoying, relaxing. But right now, like some time before, like from 9.20, I was at Koser Azhar's Quran class. Okay. Yeah, so it was her Quran class and somebody recommended as well. So I thought I might as well just go there. And it was great there. And it took me some while to come here. Was it closer Ishar? Yeah. You used to go there as well, right? No. I remember. I speak, we read the Quran together. Oh, I see. It's Tanwir, I hope you're under 20. So can you guys talk while I try to figure this out today because. Okay. Okay, Rahim and, um, oh, I think she's froze now. <laughs> We're having all kinds of technical no, right. difficulties. It's not frozen. No, she's no. Oh, here she is. Here she is. No, yeah. uh, Rabia was frozen there for a minute. Yeah, I, Kala, I would just share out right now. Not... You're too old, Tanwe. How old are you, Tanwe? How old are you, Tanwe? Carla, he doesn't look like under 20. You know what? I'm just going to remove him. This is ridiculous. He's definitely over 20. I'm sorry. I cannot have you in the show. Okay. Rabia and um, yes. Rahim talk to one another. Okay, Rahim, tell about, like, you told about yourself, mm -hmm. you are doing a lot of things. At the age of 12, usually children are, kids are just studying and complaining that studies is so hard. So how you are managing a lot of things uh, with studies? I'm happy to hear you. Yes, I think uh, we shouldn't complain about anything. Even if it's hard, you're doing it on your own choice. So yeah, don't complain. Plus, I don't think so studies is that hard. Our total syllabus in Pakistan is just four months. We just, you know, drag it all into a year. If you're just about to study, then it just takes four months to complete the syllabus and give the exams and you're over with it. But what I do usually is that I watch a lot of videos and, you know, I use the academy and stuff. To help me out with study with me, so it's just like studies is something I get an A, it's just fine. But I do all these just because I want to help people, and I want people to get the same facilities that I do, especially kids. So I do all this by time management. I go to school. I I still go to school. And I do everything I have to. I give some time to social media, of course, because I have to answer some things. And I have a lot of things going on in my head at the same time. And um, I have comedy shows. I had one this Friday. I have to go somewhere for, you know, oh. official things. Like I had an interview yesterday at Aptabad. So I had to go all the way to Aptabad. Yeah. It was fun. What were you doing in Aptabad? Uh, so Startup Grind Aptabad chapter called me in for a talk 
for like a fireside chat. It's like an interview. So I went there and that was an opportunity to see snow because I had never ever seen snow in my entire life. Um, what so I went there. What did you think of snow? What? What did you think of snow? Okay. So snow is interesting because I'd seen a lot of snow in movies. So I thought it was interesting. And I didn't think that it was that cold or that hard. So I went, so there's a place in Pakistan that's like Mari. And then that's, if you go, you know, all the way up in the mountains, that's Kalaba. So that's a place in Pakistan. And that's a lot snowing. That's so cold. It's, it's very cold there. So there was some snow. It, it, so it snowed two days back and the snow was still there. And there were problems because, of course, it was very cold. My dad didn't know how to drive in snow. That was a problem as well. And it was the first time that I saw snow and my brother saw snow as well. And, yeah, it was interesting. So I couldn't still, you know, touch the snow like that and make snowballs because it was, you know, two days old. And it's hard and I could get a frostbite. So my dad is too touchy about frostbites because he got one when he was um, not my age. He was a bit older. So, yeah, he was afraid that I'd get a frostbite. So he didn't let me touch it. Uh, But I am planning that I go somewhere here and like somewhere like Kalaba or Mari this year, December or the next year, January. So I could like play with snow it's it's a lot of fun um we have snow here (laughs) but um as as a kid i i remember making snowballs and snowmen and sliding in the snow and and this type of thing and like i say we take it for granted because you know we have the four seasons here they they are crazy now Uh, compared to when I was a kid, but I am so, everything is an experience, and I'm so glad that you finally have that snow memory, okay? Yeah. Yeah, so that is so cool. Okay, Uh, let's see, Robbie is waiting. I'm going to let you two get back to each other. Actually, it should be a conversation between the three of them. Rizvan Akram, you are older than 20. You may not come today. (laughs) I don't mind people who are coming for the first time who may not know this, but people who know, you know, it's not appropriate. I'm sorry. It's totally wrong and it's unfair to the kids. And right now, I don't know where they are, and I'm having trouble sharing out. And I'm hoping that people are sharing out because that's the only way the show is going to get people will know that we're here. And where I am not bringing you back, you need to come Monday through Thursday. You're a little too old to come today. Goodbye. Okay. Hey, Pamela. Yeah, yeah. So do you have any memories of tobogganing? Because there, when you have a lot of snow, I think uh, that's in the mountains, but. Yeah, um, actually yeah, I do. A- um, when, when my brother and I were little kids in Kentucky, we had a big hill at the back of the house And of course there was uh, like barbed wire fence to keep the cattle in, you know, the, the, the barbed wire that has points on it. And my brother and I, and this was in the summer as well. We would take a wagon then our, our, our wagon, but we would take the sled. We would lay back and go underneath the fence, yelling at my mom, help us, help us, help us, as we went down, because there was a creek, and she would run out there and try to catch us. Um, when we were in, okay. 
Okay. When, um, but um, when we were in Germany, I used to take our son to German kindergarten by sled. <laughs> I would, uh, people would pull the sleds with their children, the, the Germans would, uh, in the sled, because we were close to the school. And if there was enough <laughs> snow on the sidewalks, why you just put them in it and pull them, <laughs> pull them to school. <laughs> so it, it's a lot of fun. Um, where we live in the country, we live on a hill. And my grandkids grew up sliding down the hill um, trying to miss the trees and they'd always go in my garden. So, but you've never done this. You've never went tobogganing or sledding? Never, but oh. I am planning that I go tobogganing yeah. this year or the next year. Yeah. Like whenever I get enough snow, I'll, I'll, I'll be tobogganing. <laughs> That'll be fun. Now I'm curious with Rabia, do you have memories of the snow? Have you seen snow? Do you have memories? Actually, I am living in Multan and it is uh, known for uh, hot, it, its uh, warmness, its hotness. And uh, in the Murray, in the city of Murray, there is, uh, there is snow, but I, am, I didn't go there. So uh, I, have a plan, I have a plan that uh, I will go but uh, so that's why I, I haven't any memory of snow. Oh wow! But yes, but yes, like there are, I have watched a lot of films, and the films there are a lot of, you know, the hero hero and hero uh, heroine is uh, uh, singing a song in the snow and in the uh, rainy weather, and so I just saw that, watched that in the film, but don't uh, feel it by myself, you know. Oh, wow. It's, I know for Carla and I, it is amazing. You know, you realize that there are parts of the world that never see snow, you know, don't see hurricanes. Like we see every kind of weather you can think of here in America. Mm. But, you know, I just, um, I, I was, how can you say, I was born uh, knowing what snow is. Uh, so I've known about it all my life and it's just, it's hard for one to realize there are, there are millions of people out there that haven't seen snow. And when they see it for the first time, they are just so excited. <laughs> you know? So that is amazing. Um, I also, when snow was safer to eat, believe it or not, you can make snow ice cream. And I grew up mm. with, uh, but it, it, this was many, many years ago. Would I make snow cream now? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> not, not with everything that's in the air, but it's, it's unique. Oh, we got someone else here. Carla. Well, I don't know. You don't oh. know how old this person is. People are trying to sneak in today. So I'm bringing them in if they look older. Oh, um, you're all. You're older than 20, correct? You are older than 20, are, am I right? Goodbye. You may not be here today. Goodbye. I don't know how many times I need to say this. You... And we have someone else, but I'm not it. No, no one can come who is older than 20 today. I invited Rabia, actually, I... Buddy, stop it. I'm not in the mood. Now go to the bed and be quiet. Sorry, people. Um, Rabia has been on the show before and she is part of the team actually so she's allowed Pamela comes on Sunday and Raheem does too but you need to be under 20 today 20 or under 
I keep on saying this to you. And if you cannot respect the fact that this show is for the under 20 crowd, I am going to remove you immediately when I see you. It's not fair. I know there's very few people here, but that doesn't mean the show won't go on. It will happen. And there will be people under 20 coming at some point because it always happens. But you need to come, need to understand that. Um, anyone is welcome Monday through Thursday, but today is for, for people under 20 only. And I ask if you find value to the show, please share it out. Okay, you guys were talking, you ladies were talking. Okay. Um, okay, we've talked about snow. Um, Rabia, um, where did you learn to speak English? I have a question, Pamela. Oh. I didn't understand what you have said, but I have a question in my mind. Can I ask? Well, I'd like you to answer her question. Yeah. She wanted you to what she... no yeah. listen for a moment. I know that you have some problems understanding at times. It's perfectly okay, Rabia. That's why you need to come regularly. She asks, where did you learn to speak English? And that's a very good question. And you I really think you need to answer that. I think that the time when I joined the Kala show <laughs> and Kala, Kala want to know that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, okay. But, but no, you had, did you learn English in school from books? I mean, we've talked to people that have never went to school, but they learned English by watching TV, by reading mm -hmm. books and newspapers. Where did you learn? Actually, uh, I learned it in that way that uh, when I started to uh, have friends on the Facebook, it was uh, from 2013. And I have friends at that time from different parts of the world. There is my friend uh, from South <laughs> Africa and uh, I talked to him through chats and uh, through phone calls uh, at the time. And uh, then I have other friends as well. Uh, so I, I get, to get a chance to listen to them and have a conversation with them. So uh, initially I developed a, a little bit, you know, understanding. Okay, very good. Um, Let me ask her a question. Okay. She said something very interesting. You said that you began uh, learning. Moment. You, Rabia, you said that you began speaking English okay. when. <laughs> Don't do this to me today. <laughs> I am really hot today. Um, listen <laughs> to my question. <laughs> I don't want to go crazy today because I'm already there. <laughs> um, you said you began, did you be, just begin speaking and listening to people in English when you began working with me? Do you understand? It happens, Hala. It happens. Like... So you really... It happened it when you began working with me, right? Yeah, properly it begins when I, uh, when I uh, working started working with you. Then I get a chance like, to listen a lot of people and have regularly, you know, regularly come and come to the uh, show and uh, uh, have a chance to speak as well. Uh, but, you know, in our life, we are learning at different points as well, as uh, Pamela includes that. Um, we also have a chance to learn English when we are in the schools. 
and there is a subject of especially English the in, uh, in English uh, we have the subject in English so there is a uh, uh, there is also a chance uh, for the people uh, initially develop uh, under understanding about what is English subject and uh, uh, what is the like uh, the translation of English initially you know but properly when I came to the show, your show and joined the classes on a daily basis then I think it enhances a little bit and then I uh, now nowadays because I, I am not uh, talking much and uh, that's why I think that again I should working on Okay, do you want me to be honest with you? Well, just thinking about why I Rabia, your English <laughs> has improved tremendously. Yes, yes. But you need to learn to, your understanding okay. needs to be improved. Do you understand what I'm saying? Rebel, okay. do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I, I, I understand. I understood. Yeah, because that's where the problem was. Even when we were working the other day and I was try, trying to teach you Zoom, trying, I was doing the best I could. <laughs> But we couldn't get far because you didn't always understand what I was saying. So we need to work on that. Fabio, okay. you're going to sit there and look like this. You don't need to be here. <laughs> right? No, I am, hey, I like, really I am speaking. You don't understand. Go on. Yes, Ra Rabia? Okay, I am like, I am, I understand. You said that my understanding needs to be improved, you know? Yeah. Sometimes we have, I have, I have problem. When I'm, I'm not listening well, <laughs> that's what the problem occurs. I don't even think that's what it is, Rabia. I think you're not used to listening and you, I would too do what you do. You kind of let your mind wander in other directions and that's fine, but we, ne we need to work on it, okay? There's nothing wrong with what you're doing. You are doing very, very, very well. You have come a long way, baby. Now, why are you yes. smiling? You should be, but I want to hear from you why you are smiling. Um, I am smiling. Like when you have said that, I have come a very long way. Like the journey is not started yet. You know, it is not the recent that we are speaking. We have like the, the, our journey started from I guess the end of the 2017, Carla. It started in November or December, and then November, you, December. And you were here every day, even during Ramadan for a while, and then you disappeared, and I never, I didn't see you again, <laughs> and I was afraid I scared you away. No. <laughs> yes, I was doing other things, but I am back. So yes, I have seen also myself the way I am doing, the way I am doing other things, the other things in like um, got my attention. But now everything is fine. Life is like on the track. I'm happy with the with my progress of other things. You know. I want you to be happy here too. Yes, I am happy. That's why I'm here, Carla. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm, I'm missing. I'm missing Ali Bhai. 
I am missing Noor Bhai and everybody. Uh, Wish we all be, will be together again. Actually, Ali was going to set up a meeting for all of us to get together, and he never did. I don't have <laughs> the time to do it, but he was going to do that, and it never ever happened. You can do it. It will happen. Okay. It's up for you guys to do it, though. Mm -hmm. I'll come. You just need to tell me when. I miss everyone. I miss Ali. I miss Mahmood, Mara, Nor, maybe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe but, today Noor Bhai is watching that show. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. But then I wouldn't know because of certain things. I wouldn't know for sure. Hmm. But it would be nice. It really would. But oh, what oh I'd like God. to do is do a live show of Carla and the co-host from the beginning. Carla, huh? my battery actually goes off. Soon, I so guess. Plug it off. in. Yes, yes, I am doing that. Let me, let me just. Raheem, do oh. you have any? Yes, it's fine. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Something happens. She's putting it together. Raheem, what's going on with you? Nothing. Uh, you guys were talking, so I didn't want to interrupt. I was just listening. So where's your smile? You know, it goes off every once in a while, you see. <laughs> ah. Rabia's battery went off, and I think she is now frozen. I'm not sure. Let me see. The ceiling is decorated, right? I it thought I saw perfect. flowers or something around the it's, ceiling. Yeah, we're seeing it now. <laughs> yeah, I think those are... She's frozen. I thought they were curtains, those. <laughs> no, it's not curtains. It's, I think it's the ceiling. She's frozen. She just sent me uh, a message. And I don't know where the kids are. I spoke to a few who said, I am coming. You know, right? Raheen, you're probably the most unusual child I know because you <laughs> always show up. But I need you on time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be coming in on time because you lately I had a lot of meetings and everything. And you know, this this week there were a lot of guests who were over, you see. One guest would go to another person's house and stuff. So, yeah. Where were these guests? Where were you finding these guests? Yes, it was just, you know, some people who were there because, you know, I'm busy these days. So um, there were a few people who were over for a meeting. And, you know, some people were over for a dinner at my place. So, yeah. Have you been getting, are you getting well known now? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Tell us about it. What do you mean by kind of? Yeah, because I get, because usually I didn't get much messages of hi. <laughs> hi is on Facebook. But now I do, Ibrahim, close the door and then come. So, um, Ibrahim's here now. So, yeah, I'm getting famous. Uh, I have a lot of followers now. 
<laughs> does it have? It doesn't have to do with the show, or does it? Yes, it does because many people, even uh, like the person who invited me to Afterbot Start a Grind, knew me because I was doing the show with you. I mean, we were already friends, but the moment he started noticing me in his friend list is when I was doing the show with you. So yeah. So you can't miss. You need to not only be here, Raheem. You need to be here on time. Because somehow <laughs> things are going crazy with Facebook and sharing out. It's not easy for me to do right now at all. I don't know what's going on, but I can't do, I can't set up um, watch parties anymore. I can't easily find the group so i spent like 20 minutes today trying to find the groups again because i couldn't find them yeah i don't want you to feel bad i'll find someone to come you know who can be sure they can get here on time no i, I told you that like you know these days i was a bit you know yeah I, know. I was more busy but now I'll be I'll, now I'll be here on time. I'm a good girl host. At least I, I think I am. You are. I don't question you. I'm sorry. Did I make you feel bad? Yes, kind of. Yeah. I'm sorry, Raheen. I did not mean to. I keep on forgetting you're a 12 year old girl. And you should never. Yeah, maybe because I don't act. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was yeah, so Ibrahim is here, and yeah. Was I mean to her, Pamela? Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to get in this. This is between you and her. <laughs> I feel so bad now. Oh. No, come on, you're not mean to me. Yeah. I don't let people be mean to me. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, okay, don't feel bad. So your fiance is here and <laughs> he's been missing I you. Thought, I thought we um canceled that. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. He still remembers it. Oh, I <laughs> thought okay. I thought we broke hello. it off. Hello, Ibrahim. How are you? How are you, Ola? I'm fine. How are you? Fine. And what did you do today, Ibrahim? No. She's asking, what did you do today? I may wait, 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 wait. Let me translate it and help you. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So what did you do? Uh, 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 I am, I am. Uh, 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 okay, wait. So what he means is that he was chit-chatting with our dad. Yeah, with our dad. So he's very close to that, so yeah. And what else did you do? Okay. Did you play anything? Yeah. What games did you play? It's happy. No, what games? Uh, game two. I just see. God. Uh, uh, Speak louder uh, and clearer. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, game, game more. What is uh, Inga? Uh, okay. 
So he has a big list of things that he did. That so he play with, you know, he says it games board, but it's board games. And he played with toys, cars, guns. And what else did he say? Yeah, he played hide and seek as well. Did you play with your sister? She, Ibrahim, yeah, she's asking that, did you play with your sister, me? Did you play with me? Me or uh, uh, me or me? Yeah, yeah. And he what, that way. And what did you play with your sister? Oh, that's sweet. sweet. <laughs> what did you play with yeah. your sister? Talk to you. Okay. Yeah. She asked that, what did you play with me? Which game did we play together? Uh, Lego. Okay, okay. You pronounce it a different way. Uh, he, mean, he meant Ludo. I don't know if it's popular there. There, but it's very popular here in Pakistan. So what is Ludo? People have even put me in groups to play Ludo, and I can't figure out what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's so funny? That you didn't know how to play Ludo. Amy. Amy. Yeah. She does not understand Ludo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, he's asking about your dog. What about the dog? I have no idea what about the dog. <laughs> what do you want to do with the dog? Please, the day. Okay, yeah. I'm glad I have him quiet now. Nisha Wazer, I believe you're over 20. Could you put your your age in the chat? If you are above 20, you may not come today. You can okay. only come Monday through Thursday. What happened to Ibrahim? He just went there. Come on, come, come. <laughs> Yeah, he's a four year old that happens again and again. Yes. What you were explaining your Ludo to me. What is Ludo? This is that there are four colors that you get to choose. It's like a team. Um, yeah. Wait, you cannot explain it. You're too, you're too small for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a board game and you have colors that are yellow, green, blue, and red. You get to pick one of them. If you pick blue, then, you know, you just get those four um, pawns. Yeah, it's, it's a pawn, I, I guess. That's what we call it. These small kind of thingies. And so you get four of them. And they're supposed to be in their house. That's the main place that that the blue thing is drawn, like a big circle kind of thing. So that's no. supposed to be their house. And then you have that. Um, okay, what do we call that? Like uh, wait, like a cube kind of thing with numbers on it, right? So as soon as you get six, you get to pick out that whatever color thingy out. And then as soon as you get all those numbers, you circulate it around the board. And then you come again with those special kind of boxes that are drawn with the color you've chosen. I know you're excited about Halloween. Come on. Oh. Halloween? Yeah. Halloween. Fire. That is 11 months from now. <laughs> That's a long time away. <laughs> oh, okay, don't be a vampire. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're done with this vampire. <laughs> <laughs> vampire is a doggy? 
I want to ask you a question, Raheem. Mm -hmm. What value do you see in this show? I think it's a very great platform for learning. And of course, co-hosting the shows, I learn a lot because I see people who are not fluent in English and I see them learning. And yeah, it's a great thing to see. Okay, is there anything else? I'm trying, I want you to recommend it to people as we're talking. Because you're a child. You. Let me finish what I'm saying. You're a child. And I'm hoping yeah. some of the parents who are watching will hear what a child has to say about coming to the show. So, um, <laughs> talk. I'm yeah. giving you a long time to talk if Ibrahim will let you. <laughs> I tell you who won't. So Ibrahim, if you can say shush for some time, then yeah. Yeah. I think the show is great to let your children hear because every Sunday I know parents have concerns about the timings and stuff but your kids learn here. And of course they come, they get to speak and if it also have, you know, grows the kind of thing inside them to follow rules because we have some strict rules that you have to follow in order to be in the show. So your kids could talk about what they're interested in. And especially on Sundays, they get more time. So they, because we won't talk grown-up stuff with them as much as I am a 12-year-old, but we don't talk uh, grown-up stuff with other kids. We talk about their interests. We talk about whatever they do with whatever they like, and they get to tell about themselves. That's how they realize that there are a lot of different people in the world. Learning English. Yeah, it's, a very, it's supposed to be the most important part of the show. So we have Carla, Carla Richmond, the, the lady that you see here. So she and Pamela both are American ladies. And it's a very great chance that it, they both are the first American ladies that your kid talk to. Because no matter how many things they do in school, but at the end, they learn English as a subject, not as a language. But here they learn it as a language and they get to speak to native speakers. And it's great because if the native speakers understand them, there's a very greater chance that if they go abroad for studies or something, people understand them. So most young people who come here, not kids, most young people who come here are you know, gonna give a IELTS test or something. So they come, Come on, Ibrahim, stop distracting. <laughs> they come uh, for the eyelet, eyelets test as well. But it's, it's very... He just muted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Yes. Did you know that he was muting you? I have no idea. <laughs> it's okay, right? And this is how Ibrahim. for some time so you don't punch me and then you could come back yeah all cool all cool and chill yeah yes <laughs> yeah now go there thank you thank you <laughs> bye, -bye.
He was very angry. Oh. That happens when he's really angry. Is he very angry now? Or you know, he isn't that angry, but yeah, happens. You know, mood swings. Well, he's a kid. Yeah. How are you? What? <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, yeah. finish what you were saying because I think it's important. Yeah, so it's really important that your kids, like you being a parent, if you are one, so it's really important for your kids to come here and talk to native speakers and the other people here as well because they learn a lot. They see a lot of, um, you know, things that there could be a lot of professions, a lot of people. And especially one thing that, because I am a kid as well, and I also have parents. So one thing that I learned when I came to the show is that if you're a Pakistani parent, then it's nighttime here. And it's daytime there. You could see like behind Carla's, like behind Carla. You could see that it's like daytime. So the kids get to see that you know, there she's actually in the other part of the world and she's talking to me. She cares about me. And then, you know, the child eventually feels special as well. But if you're from an, another country, you might see it feels like it's nighttime if you see behind me or somebody else. It's, it's nighttime. So it's all, even the time difference the kids learn that somewhere it's evening, somewhere it's morning. So I am special enough that they're giving time to me sitting in the other part of the world and how technology could, you know, connect a lot of people. And yeah, to bring your kids here every Sunday. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate that because that will help bring kids. Let me ask you another question. What is the purpose? And what value do you see of learning to speak English? You see, everywhere in any country you go, English is one thing that you think that the other person would speak. And that's like the global language now. If you don't know English, it's, it's impossible it's like nearly impossible for you to travel in any other country because if you don't know their language, then you could speak in English and maybe there's a lot of chances that they know English. And English because um, it's important. Social media, it's all English. And sadly in Pakistan, the people who know English are superior to ones who don't know English because it's just like English is the language you could impress anybody with. So that's also one thing in Pakistan that I see. And yes, you could talk to anybody around the world using English. If I talk in Urdu right now with Carla, Carla would be like, what are you saying? And it's, the, it's another thing that if Carla speaks English, I would be able to answer her. So English is that is why that is why English is very important. And in the future, you could also see with all the growing technologies and everything that English would be more popular and popular. And I see even in this show, there are many people who come just because of their eyelids test, which I I mention a lot. But eyelids is important if you are going to another country. It's important that you get good, good grades or good bands in it because I've never given an test, so I don't know much about it. So yeah, even for traveling, it's really important to know English. Very good, thank you. I actually am going to cut it out, cut this out and let people hear it because what you said is important for everyone. I think Carla, um, I think you shouldn't cut this thing out. I'd make a video and I'll send it to you as soon as possible. 
I'll make a video of all the things that I said and I, I'll add some other things. And you could upload it to the website, like all other videos or something. Well, that's what I was planning on doing, but I can do it. Send me a video and we'll take it one step at a time. I may do what I want to do anyway. <laughs> I've become like someone else I know, fortunately or unfortunately. <laughs> but um, thank you so very much. Um, I think what you said is important. And it's important for more than just you, but for everyone. Pamela, do you have anything to say? Well, um, with doing what I've been doing the past few years, um, I realized that English is very important. Um, I was surprised even in East Germany when the wall came down. They could speak perfect English. Uh, English is taught in, in many parts of the world and it is the international business. You need to know it if you're going to get accepted in a college here in America or in the UK or anywhere. Um, the hard part is, especially in the rural communities, is there may only be one computer or one laptop to connect these children with the outside world. Their parents may not speak one word of English because you have, like you have with our generation, my children in the 1980s grew up with computers. They took to it as we say, like ducks to water. For us, we had to learn, well, there are many children, especially in your country, Rahim, that are learning English, but their parents don't speak it. So the only place that they can improve it is either at school or with talking to someone who speaks it. And especially in the rural communities, they tend to be more afraid <laughs> To, to speak to an American, I'm more shy. And um, so it's, it's, it's hard. Um, you are blessed. You truly are blessed to have the parents that you have. Just as, and I will say this out loud, just as Alawala, uh, Rehan Alawala's kids, they are so blessed. And you can't take this for granted because I've talked to children along the border who never have ever, we're talking generations, have had the opportunities that you are given. And this is why I applaud you that you feel this, that you want them to have the same. Um, but you know, there is, it, it's, it's hard because you have the parents and you have them all over the world. It's like, why do they have to learn this? Why do we have to take our, you know, what good is it? And it's, it's making them understand how important it is uh, to learn. And, you know, it's, it's just as simple as that. So you may be 12 years old, but you are wise beyond your, your years. And I know you will do as many young people in, in Pakistan and around the world. You are the future and, and, if, if they can just get the support that they need around the world, it's going to be amazing because you want to change things for the better. So, okay. That's what I have to say. I, I, I can't help but say how impressed I am by you. I truly am because you are not a follower. You are a born leader. Okay. Okay, okay. And it get me in tears here. <laughs> okay, Carl, go ahead. Very true, and I've I've taught her that so many times. That, yeah. And then she goes, "Don't say that. I'm not going to sleep tonight." And I'm like, <laughs> so I stop saying it. But she needs one. She needs to accept that's who she is. Right. But two, she also needs to stay humble. Yeah. 
and I can almost hear Rahan saying that right now to her. Stay humble and you'll be fine. Yeah. Don't let it go to your head. Which is why I get a little concerned when I hear, oh, all, all of these people want to follow me and all of these people want to do this and that and they're listening to me. It's good, Rahan, uh, Raheem, that this is happening. But the other point that's also important is that you stay the child you are and the I've spoken to your dad about this several times, and you know that. As long as you stay a child and you don't become an adult right away, I'm okay with it. It's when that changes, I have a problem. Yeah. And I will say that publicly because you're here a lot. And you need to know that's where I'm coming from when it comes to that. Thank you so much for being concerned for me. Yeah, my parents keep me grounded. Yeah, your um, dad told me. There's people saying they want to come to my show. Well, if you're under 20, you could have come today. We're about to end the show for today. But it's very easy. Make sure you have the free Zoom app from zoom.us. After you have that, you click on the GiggleFest University link on this show. It's in the chat. It's all over the place. Come and you'll find the Zoom link and join the link, join the show. You're more than welcome to do it. Anyone is welcome to do it. So join us. If you're under 20, I'm sorry you didn't come today. We would have been happy to have had you. But I'm not going, you know, it's up to you. And with that, I think I'm going to end the show now because we are over an hour. I want to thank those who did watch and listen. I want to thank Raheen and Pamela for coming to the show. And I will be back tomorrow for anyone of any age. Please come tomorrow. That will be the appropriate time for you to come. Let this time be for the younger generation. Okay, Pamela and, and Raheen, do you want to say a few words before I say we wave goodbye and laugh ourselves out? Yeah, I just had a question for Pamela. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know if I saw it wrong or stuff, but when I saw your profile today, again, I just saw it again. Okay. I I saw that you studied cosmetology. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I never knew that. Yeah. Um, out of high school, when I graduated, I went to cosmetology school. I, I do, you know, I finished it. I'm a licensed beautician, but I have never worked in a shop because I married my husband and traveled the world. So, but it, uh, I still hold my license. I've had them for almost 48 years. I've never worked in a shop, but they're mine. This is my accomplishment. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm a licensed cosmetologist who never worked in a beauty shop. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. But my husband has a, has a beautician for life. He, he's hardly ever seen a barber shop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you for asking. Um, I, I had talked about this once. Okay. We all have dreams. And, and sometimes we think that's the dream that we want. I was young. I was in high school. I got a scholarship of $250. And back in the 1970s, that, that was pretty good. 
uh, to go to cosmetology school. I lived with a Jewish family, knew nothing about uh, the Jewish religion, lived with them and was their nanny for three little girls. So it Aww. was it was a wonderful experience. And to me, that's what life is. But I went to cosmetology school because I was out of high school. I had gotten, you know, the, the uh, scholarship, whatever. But if I had to do it all over again, I would have went to culinary school and been uh, uh, an award-winning chef, you know? So sometimes we have dreams. Sometimes if you don't follow them when you're right out of school, you may never follow them, right, Carla? Don't you think? Mm. And yeah, it's, it's kind of exploring. I mean, it happened with my nephew as well. He thought he wanted to go in uh, to aerospace technology, one of the hardest courses he could have ever have picked in college. And he got very discouraged. Well, he, he uh, cause he, ha he had gotten tremendous scholarships. So he thought he had lost him. He worked, he got them and he went back as an exploratory student. Uh, he is so happy this year. He is so excited about college. So, you know, along with our dreams, just know sometimes the dream you have now or two or three years from now can change and that's okay. You know, uh, it, I, I feel I am a chef, even though I, I don't have the degree. I have experience and there is, there's learned experience that you cannot learn in a classroom that doesn't come with a degree. Um, and so that's what I have to say, uh, dream, dream big and never stop dreaming and never stop achieving or learning. And I, I think that's the greatest thing that I can say. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, if anyone had told me I would be doing what I'm doing now, even three years ago. I would have laughed at them. If anyone asked me now, would I stop doing what I'm doing? Even when I get a little annoyed with some people, the answer is no. Right. Because what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing. But it took a while for me to grow into doing this. I would have never thought I would do it. Except that I think I did kind of, although I never really watched it all, a lot, people like Oprah or Ellen, I always thought, wouldn't that be a wonderful job to have? And that's sort of what I'm doing now. So who knows what'll come next? I know something will because I know that I'm in the direction that I'm supposed to be. But would I have known this when I was 12? No, no idea. And Raheem, yeah. even with you, what you're doing now, you may be doing something completely different when you're older, 10 years from now. Yeah. And you just don't know yet. And with that, People who are saying, I want to come to your show. I'm not being funny about it. It's just that you weren't here. I couldn't bring you in today. You can come from Monday to Thursday and talk to me then. 9.45 p.m. Pakistan time. 11.45 a.m. New York time. Just come and talk. I don't care if you make mistakes. Because unless you make mistakes and unless you fall, you can pick yourself up and do better later. And with that, we're going to wave goodbye, everyone. Raheen, wave, please, smile. <laughs> Wave goodbye, and we're going to laugh ourselves out. <laughs> Bye.